Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about perfumes and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, on today's video, in today's video, we're going to be talking and reviewing a celebrity fragrance line. I did not know that this celebrity had this many fragrances to be honest with you all up until like two three months ago when i placed my order so i am talking about shakira miss hips don't lie i did not know that shakira had a perfume line mind-blowing so i decided to purchase a few of her perfumes i did do a little bit of research to see what kind of perfumes she had and she really has a lot of perfumes now a lot of these perfumes are not available in the u.s because i think they're just made where where she's from but i was able to find quite a few and i ended up getting six perfumes and these six perfumes are perfumes that i saw i read the notes and i thought they were perfumes that i was going to like so i ended up getting six perfumes in total uh five of those perfumes are from her dance collection and then i got one from her sweet dream collection oh it's from her dream collection so she has the dance collection dream collection the elixir collection and then she has the rock collection so she has a bunch of different perfumes and a different bunch of different categories so i ended up purchasing six and one of them that i have here is called sweet dream and then from the dance collection we have dance dance diamonds dance midnight muse dance red midnight and last but not least dance midnight i have been trying these perfumes for the past two months i want to say and i have to say out of these six perfumes i only like three the other three are mm, they're not quite my favorite so we're gonna start off with the ones that i just did not like probably because of the type of scent that they are so with that being said i'm gonna start off with the first one and the first one that was a disappointment now this was the first time that i tried these perfumes so let's keep that in mind i've never tried this house i did buy six and three i did like three i didn't like so the first one that i didn't like is called sweet dream so i literally thought i was going to like this perfume so let me open it up and let me get to the scent so the bottle is cute a little i don't know a little uh, how do i say this a little it's okay <laughs> it's not the best bottle i've seen but it's a, it's an it's an okay bottle i i like the packaging i like the bottles from the dance dance collection but this one is a little bit more on the cheap side but i still think it's it's an okay looking bottle so this one has top notes of raspberry black currant and bergamot the middle notes are caramel rose and night blooming jasmine and the base notes are patchouli musk mensoin and cedar so yeah it sounds like a nice sweet fruity caramelly type of perfume but it's really i don't know you guys it's really not this perfume it's not bad but ah uh, there's something in here that just doesn't mix well the balance of the notes are just not this just smells like a generic perfume i don't know if maybe because it's an older perfume or i don't know this is just a very very genetic perfume this perfume starts off very heavy on that black current it smells like like something very heavy it's like a like a heavy syrup it's very very syrupy very sweet and intoxicating like that that's when that caramel that rose that cedar that patchouli note starts to kick in and it just becomes a very very dark uh, perfume but uh, all i'm getting is something generic something uh, a little bit on the cheaper side this perfume is just very heavy on the black current it comes out very syrupy it is sweet but i don't smell nothing fruity about this perfume it is a little bit ambery it does kind of smell a little bit ambery but it's more so black currant syrup sweet uh maybe like a perfect i want to say winter time type of perfume or perfect for the fall because it kind of smells like like a caramel uh, i don't want to say pumpkin pie because it doesn't smell like pumpkin pie but when i smell it i'm getting something like pumpkin ish or maybe because it's already october happy october but yeah i don't know you guys there's something in here that i just don't like i think it's the patchouli notes maybe that cedar that woodsy note because it does come off a little bit woodsy yeah i don't know i did give this a fair shot but i just did not like the longevity on this perfume is actually pretty decent i did get about three or four hours with six sprays so i think that's a 
a pretty decent uh, amount of time for this type of perfume so this is the 2.7 fluid ounce i honestly do not remember how much i pay for this for these perfumes i did get these from fragrance nets and i ended up paying like 120 dollars for all six so definitely got a good deal when it came down to getting all these perfumes so yeah if you like black currant syrupy sweet yet woodsy generic type of perfumes i say give this one a try it's not a bad scent it's nice it comes up a little bit powdery but it's just not my cup of tea and again this is called sweet dream by shakira all right so moving on to the next one that i did not like and that one is called dance by shakira now i believe this is the first dance they released so this bottle is really cute i really like the little bottle the little hip to the side i think the bottle is really really cute especially for all the other ones this one is definitely a really really cute bottle so this one is described as a citrusy sweet perfume this one has top notes of tangerine pear grapefruit and bergamot the middle notes are peony orange blossom lily and neroli and the base notes are caramel vanilla musk and woodsy notes so I'm not really a big fan of citrusy notes and I almost didn't get this perfume because it is a citrusy perfume. Citrusy perfumes can get a little bit tricky, especially if they have those type of notes, grapefruit and bergamots. If it's too lemony, too lime, lysoly, I'm not gonna like it. But I do like the fact that it has pear, tangerine, caramel, vanilla musk. Where can you go wrong, right? Well, you can with this one, in my opinion yeah this perfume ah you guys oh, i uh, please forgive me <laughs> please forgive me if you like this perfume if you are a shakira fan but i have to be honest this perfume comes off like toilet water once you know i know that sounds bad but you know when you're cleaning your toilet or your bathroom and you're you know you're uh you're cleaning it with detergents or not detergents like soap or bleach and you can smell it in the air not that i'm saying this smells like bleach but it just smells like uh like uh like lysol like the stuff that you use to clean the rim of your toilet that's what i'm getting that's that's what i'm smelling it's very citrusy like that and i know that might sound bad but that's the first <laughs> that's the first thing that pops to my mind or to my head when i smell this perfume the first initial hit that's what i imagine like it just smells very lemony very lysoly very like that and then the dry down it is a little bit better i do like the dry down a little bit better than i do the first initial spray the dry down i can smell that caramel i can smell that vanilla it's weird because it starts off very bitter and citrusy and then it dries down to to that nice vanilla creamy musky type of perfume i like that i really really like that however this perfume you guys it turns into a skin scent this perfume just like after the first hour it completely disappears and i can i can feel it disappearing on my hand like literally i have to spray some more because you guys this perfume does not last for more than one hour it just literally disappears it becomes a skin scent you have to be like smelling really really close to your skin another thing that i don't like about this perfume is that that first initial spray for like the first 10 seconds it does smell like pure alcohol pure rubbing alcohol usually when perfumes smell like pure alcohol when you first spray it that tells me that it is a cheap perfume it is a cheap scent now i didn't pay crazy amounts of money for this perfume so it is understandable that they probably didn't use the best of the best but i don't know this is definitely not one of my favorite ones uh the first initial hits i get something lemony something lysols bleach or cleaning supplies cleaning chemicals i don't know right that's what i'm getting the dry down it is a little bit better because it does smell a little bit more like vanilla it smells a little bit caramelly it smells a little bit musky so it is sweet like that but yeah you guys the longevity on this perfume is horrible by far the worst and i would say save your money even if you do like those type of perfumes save your money because you're not gonna get more than one hour personally that's what i got one hour and this perfume becomes a skin scent unless you probably do want a perfume that's not going to linger for long you just want something like one two something cute and then you go about your day maybe then you might like this one but personally i did not enjoy this perfume 
whatsoever. But if you do like those type of perfumes that starts off very lemony, zesty, and bitter like that, and then it dries down to something sweeter, something a little bit more cozier, and it's only gonna last about an hour, an hour and a half, I say get this one. And this one is called Dance by Shakira. <laughs> All right, so moving on to the next one. So the next one is also another one that I did not like. And this one's called Dance Diamonds. And I believe this one's called Dance Under the Rain. It's weird because it's called Dance Diamonds Under the Rain. I don't know. But uh, yeah, the, the, the packaging for this one's really, really cute. I really like this one. So let me open it up and let me take it out of its box. So yeah, you guys, I really like the frosted bottle. I think this is just a really, really cute bottle. I really like the color. I think it's just really, really cute when they add stuff like this. It's pretty. I like it. It's simple, but it's uh, it's unique. I like it. I just don't like the scents. But uh, yeah, this one is described, again, as a citrusy perfume. This one has top notes of bergamot, pink pepper, and raspberry. The middle notes are violet leaf, orange blossom, freesia, and peony. And the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and amber so i don't know you guys <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting to the good ones right now after this one so this perfume it also comes off bitter but this one is oh it's so <laughs> this one is so earthy it's so so green it, it just smells like green grass green trees almost like cilantro like wet cilantro oh yeah this is not you guys this is not a good one i do not like this one one bit that bergamot that pink pepper and that violet leaf whoa it's super super strong like i can smell that pink pepper it's a very spicy woodsy perfume okay i'm not gonna smell it again because it's just horrible it's so horrible i do not like this perfume you guys i do not like this perfume so it comes out very green this is definitely a green earthy woodsy type of perfume i can smell that bergamot but it doesn't come off lemony it doesn't come off bitter like that it just comes off very green like fresh cut green grass or like wet trees it smells very wet yet a bit uh, how do i say it a bit woodsy like wet wood this one is definitely stronger uh i did not try this one i don't know how long it lasts because i did not go to give it a try this is by far like this is the type of perfumes that i stay away for from as much as i possibly can because i just do not like these type of perfumes if it's a green earthy type of perfume get it away from me not my cup of tea but if that's your cup of tea green earthy perfumes a little bit um uh, on that wet vibe then you're gonna like this one because that's the that's the vibe that i'm getting out of this perfume unfortunately for me it was just not a go but that's okay i see where they were going with this perfume but unfortunately it's just not a good one for me i did not like or enjoy this one one bit it's a shame because i really like the perfume i really like the bottle and the design but yeah you guys this is just a no 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 for me and again this one's called dance diamonds by shakira all right so moving on to the three that i do like i feel horrible saying these things about shakira's perfumes but i just have to be 100 honest and well moving on to the ones that i actually really do enjoy you guys highly recommend these three highly highly recommend these three and the first one that i'm going to start off with it's called dance midnight it comes in this beautiful black gold box definitely one of my favorite packaging i think the packaging is really really cute so let me open this one up and let me take it out of its packaging all right so this is what the bottle looks like the bottle is just beautiful i really really like this bottle i think the bottle is just so so pretty it's definitely gold it's just a beautiful beautiful bottle kind of reminds me of the jean paul gaultier perfumes but i like that this one has a little bit of like a twist to it with a hip to the side definitely cute so this one is described as a sweet vanilla perfume yes that is definitely what we have been waiting for so this one has top notes of pink pepper black currant pear and bergamot the middle notes are two rose jasmine sandbag licorice wait licorice i think that's how you pronounce that word licorice lily of the valley and the base notes are hazelnut cocoa spread vanilla tonka bean and benzoin whoa hazelnut cocoa spread 
I've never seen that in a perfume. This is the first time I've seen it in a perfume. And I was very excited to try this one out. And you guys, I was not disappointed with this perfume. Holy crap. This perfume, okay, even though this perfume kind of does smell a little bit outdated, a little bit on the cheaper side, like it doesn't smell like a high-end fragrance, right? It doesn't smell like that. But this one smells a lot less generic than the other ones. This is just a really beautiful, sweet vanilla perfume. But this one comes off a little bit dark. Like it does smell like chocolate pudding. It smells like like something creamy like something delicious chocolatey creamy and i think that comes from that black currant and that tonka bean i have to say though when i first smelled this perfume i instantly thought about another perfume that is very similar to this one so i feel like this one would be a dupe for this other perfume because yeah it's very similar but this one smells a little bit less strong like that this one reminds me of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. It has those vibes, those sweet, elegant, dark vibes. But this one is a little bit more generic. This one is a little bit more on the cheaper side. It's, it's still really pretty and really, really nice. I do like wearing this one. I have worn this one a couple of times and I love the way that it lingers. I got about three or four hours. I think all the other ones, that's how much I got, three or four hours, which is a pretty decent amount of time for these type of perfumes. So yeah, it comes off sweet. It comes off very pulverized it kind of smells a little bit like powder but all around it's just a sweet powdery perfume like it smells like vanilla it smells like chocolate it smells like like caramel tonka bean just all of the above it's definitely a nice sweet perfume and i really really like this one so if you do like the carolina herrera good girl perfume you're gonna like this one because it's very similar to that one but this one just comes off a little bit more vanilla-y more sweeter just this one is not as strong and as powerful as good girl but it's definitely a good sweet perfume you guys and i would probably most likely check this one out over the other ones if you like sweet vanilla perfumes and if you do i say check this one out and this one's called dance midnight all right so moving on to the next one that i do like and that one is dance midnight muse again another sweet vanilla perfume now let me take it out of its packaging so here we have the bottle the bottle is so pretty you guys this bottle is just so so beautiful i really like the color i just the bottles are just beautiful i'm just gonna keep saying that about all of these bottles the bottles are really really pretty all right so this one is again a sweet perfume this one has tab notes of pear pink pepper and bergamot all these perfumes had bergamot uh the middle notes are orange blossom jasmine helotrope and lily and the base notes are vanilla whipped cream amber woody notes and musk so yeah definitely some really good really great notes in there i was definitely interested in that vanilla and whipped cream notes so Ah, oh, you guys, yes, this perfume smells so sweet. This one is a tiny bit spicy because of that pink pepper. I think if they would have got rid of that pink pepper and that woodsy you note, know, this perfume would have been chef's kiss because it's good. It's just a really, really good scent. So this one comes off very sweet it definitely comes off very very sweet i can smell that vanilla that whipped cream that amber but it also has that tiny bit hint of wood like it does come off a little bit woodsy but not by much you guys it's definitely a sweet perfume or i should say it's a sweet floral perfume but i don't smell those floral notes as much as i do the, the sweetness i think this is definitely a whipped cream vanilla ambery woodsy type of perfume it does come off it does come off very, uh, how do I say it, musky. It's very, very like a cozy scent. That's the vibe that I'm getting, like a cozy scent. Definitely perfect for like a wintertime type of perfume. I like this one because this one comes off very shy. Like this perfume is not too crazy. It's not very intoxicating. This also does become a skin scent after two three hours which i honestly it's so weird because i ac actually don't mind it when it comes down to this perfume i don't know why but it's definitely a really nice type of perfume i'm also getting something a little bit like uh, like you know that powder that balloons have it comes off a little bit balloony 
like balloon or the powder of balloon it's almost like that but it's i don't know you guys it's overpowered by the sweetness of vanilla it's overpowered by that sweetness of that whipped cream but it's not a strong intoxicating perfume it's i think this is perfect for people who like sweet perfumes but they don't like strong sweet intoxicating perfumes which is why i'm okay with this perfume not being too strong or too intoxicating in the sweetness do i wish it was yes because i like i like those type of perfumes but this is definitely a nice sweet vanilla whipped cream type of perfume so if you're into that i say get this one again it's not going to be overpowering and i got about two three hours uh with this perfume so yeah you guys we have here dance midnight muse all right so moving on to the last one so this last one is actually the one that i really really like if i recommend one out of all these i would say this one and this one's called dance red midnights and again this is described as a white floral vanilla sweet type of perfume so let me open it up and let me get to the scent so here we have the bottle so the bottle again it's really really pretty it's a lot darker than the last one the last one is red this one is a lot more on the burgundy side it's really really pretty it's really really nice i really like this one so this one has top notes of bergamot and cranberry the middle notes are two rose and orange blossom and the base notes are vanilla and patchouli honestly when i first saw these notes i did not think i was going to like that because of that two rose that orange blossom and that patchouli note but you guys whoa this perfume surprised me quite a lot oh my god you guys okay this is gonna sound weird <laughs> But this is a dirty perfume. And what I mean by a dirty perfume, uh, it smells like, it smells like a cherry. This reminds me of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, to say the least. But this one comes off a little bit dirty, like, <laughs> like mud. I know you're probably gonna be like, oh, why would I wanna smell like mud? <laughs> True, but that's what i'm getting that's the vibe that i'm getting it smells like or maybe not mud okay let me not exaggerate too much with that it kind of kind of smells like like a cherry alcoholic drink it smells like something that's gonna get you tipsy if you drink it but like a cherry note but it also comes off very very creamy this is just a beautiful beautiful vanilla perfume you guys but it smells like a cherry syrupy vanilla it's very very creamy and i know it has top notes of cranberry and i do smell that cranberry it does come off very juicy like that but for some reason i'm getting yeah i'm getting like a like a cherry dipped in syrup or dipped in like tequila or vodka i don't know that's what i'm getting it's very like that but it's very it's the sexy perfume this is definitely definitely a sweet sexy sensual type of perfume i really like this one i don't know i really really like this one quite a lot it's definitely a mature perfume so if you're gonna try this one out let me just put it out there it's definitely a mature perfume and what i mean by mature i don't mean like old lady like type of perfume i just mean that it's uh an older perfume like for someone more mature but i like this perfume i really like this perfume quite a lot it's not sweet like sugar sweet it's more like sweet creamy uh cranberry yet a little bit dirty <laughs> i don't know that's what i'm getting so i'm gonna wear this one today i'm gonna spray it this much and i did get about four hours max with this perfume which i think it's really really good but i'm also going to layer it with the original midnights because you have to layer your perfumes and this is how i layer my perfumes and why not we're gonna go with midnight muse we're just gonna do one and two you guys oh my god this already smells like heaven this definitely smells like heaven i know probably some of you are probably like whoa you're doing way too much if you're gonna go out do too much <laughs> that's that's the best advice do too much and i'm doing too much with these perfumes because i know these perfumes don't linger too much in the air they're not too intoxicating so i know that if i'm gonna be dancing around people they're not gonna be like whoa did you shower inside the bottle like i wouldn't do that with like a jean paul gaultier perfume or a carolina herrera perfume right but because these perfumes are a little bit more like on the generic side they're not going to be too overly intoxicating where people are gonna be like way too much way too much but with this amount ah 
god you guys it smells so freaking good so so freaking good and uh that is pretty much it for today's video if you guys like this video please give this video a huge thumbs up that lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content if you're new here hi welcome if you're obsessed with perfumes as much as i am and anything in the fashion world stick around click that subscribe button click that notification bell to get notified for every single time i upload but all right you guys as always thank you for watching and i can't wait till we gossip on the next one until then i'll see you next time bye